Today, we're going to look at Techovation's TDSer Pro plugin. Let's briefly talk about DSers and why we use them, and I'll show you how to use this plugin to make your recording sound better. First, let's listen to a recording. Some sounds are sibilant. You'll notice that this recording has lots of sibilants, or the harsh hissing sounds in speech. This is mostly S's, but also sounds like CH, SH, and others. Normally when you speak, these sounds are dispersed through the air and get reduced naturally. But since the microphone is often close to the speaker, these sounds haven't had a chance to disperse and can sound extra strong. It's best to fix this during recording when you can, but that doesn't always work out. Sometimes you need to clean up your recording, and this is where a good de comes in. de are compressors that work on a specific frequency band. In this case, the frequency is where the sibilance is. When the sibilance gets too high, the compressor turns on and starts to reduce the harsh sounds. de sound more natural than equalizers because they only turn on when the sibilance gets too high and leaves the sound alone the rest of the time. Techovation makes three versions of their de plugin. The first two, the basic and the plus version, are completely free. If you want even more control, you can upgrade to the pro version. We'll start with the basic features available in the free versions, and then I'll show you what else the pro version gives you. But first, I'd like to thank Techovation for providing me a free copy of their plugins to review. This plugin has a clean, user-friendly design. It's focused on the controls that you need, and it's easy to use so you can focus on being creative and spend less time tweaking settings. The first thing you see is this big processing knob right there. Ignore the temptation to start turning the knob, but first select the frequency band you want to work in. The high band is good for S sounds, but the mid-high band is good for softer sounds like CH and SH. High end covers everything above five kilohertz, and low high covers 1 to 4 kHz, which is good for lower frequency sibilance and other creative uses. These bands are typical regions, but they vary depending on the speaker. Loop over sibilant section of your recording and adjust the big processing knob until it reduces the harshness. You typically want to aim for about 3 to 10 dB of reduction, which you can see on the level meter to the right. Now you don't want to overdo it. You're not trying to eliminate the sibilant sounds because you need these for clear speech, you just want to reduce them to a more natural level. Here's what it sounds like if you overdo it. Normally when you speak, these sounds are dispersed through the air and get reduced naturally. Now let's bring it back to a good level. Normally when you speak, these sounds are dispersed through the air and get reduced naturally. If you need to, you can adjust the output slider on the left to match the volume. Another useful feature is the audition options. The filter option lets you hear only the range of frequencies you're changing. Some sounds are sibilant. Some sounds are sibilant. Some sounds are sibilant. Some sounds are sibilant. The diff option lets you hear what's been removed. Some sounds are sibilant. 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 You typically want to hear only the sibilant sounds and nothing else. You need at least the free plus version to do this. Now let's fine tune the sound by adjusting the compressor settings. Intensity sets how much you want to compress the harsh peaks once it gets over the threshold. Higher values will compress the sound more, so you need to find the right balance between reducing the peaks and squashing the sound. In this diagram, you can see that the higher the intensity, or compression ratio, the more the peaks are squashed. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Sharpness sets the knee of the compression curve. In other words, it sets how smooth it transitions from off to on. In this diagram, the knee is here, and the sharpness knob sets how sharp or rounded this edge is. Let's hear this before and after. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge You have a handy A-B feature to let you compare settings. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Simply dial in the settings you want, hit copy to B, switch to B, and adjust it. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge And now you can toggle back and forth to see which version you like better. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge Another nice addition is the undo feature, which a lot of plugins are missing. You can go into the menu to do this, but the convenient keyboard shortcuts work too. If you found this useful, consider subscribing and liking this video. 
It helps my channel grow and reach more people, and I really appreciate your support. Now let's move on to the Pro features. Attack controls how long it takes to start compressing the sound. Lower values smooth the sound more by squashing the transients, and higher values allow more of the transients to get through. The release control sets how long to hold the compression after the signal goes below the threshold. I like to use these with the diff setting to fine tune recorded dialogue. You can hear some extra sound getting removed, so let's clean this up. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge. Cheddar Cheese Chugging Cheddar Cheese Chugging Challenge. This sounds a lot better to me. You can also use the attack and release when shaping the sound of other instruments, like drums. If the transients in your drums are too big and punchy, you can soften them and fatten it up. Sometimes you'll get some distortion with short attack values. In this case, turn on the look ahead switch, which causes the de to look ahead a little bit, which makes the attack smoother. Now, since it can't actually look into the future, it does this by adding a little bit of latency to the sound, so you might not want to use this when recording. Quality sets the amount of oversampling, which makes the plugin process the sound at a much higher sampling rate than the actual recording. In other words, the higher the value, the higher the sound quality. The cost is that it adds a bit of latency and uses more CPU, although I didn't notice a real difference in the CPU usage in my testing. Again, this is probably not a feature you want to use when tracking or recording, as stated in the manual. You can also fine-tune the frequency range in the Pro version. This is useful for tuning the exact range needed because every voice is different, especially between men and women. This also makes a de more flexible to work with harsh instruments such as distorted guitars and harsh synths. There's something in the water I feel it taking off me It's slowly getting harder To breathe, to breathe, to breathe The audition options are very useful when dialing in the frequency range. Another way to use a de is to put two in series where each one handles different sibilant sounds. For example, one can handle CH and S sounds at lower frequencies, and another can handle the higher frequency S sounds, and then you can tune these independently to clean up your sound. Shifty Shady Shapes in the Shadows The mix settings let you mix some of your original signal back in for parallel compression. One way to do this is to set the de to more extreme values, and then dial it back using the mix knob. Don't forget that you have the AB feature for comparison. It's hard to resist the thing that I miss for so long. Can't remember what it's like, just remember I need it. It's hard to resist the thing that I miss for so long. Can't remember what it's like, just remember I need it. In the pro version, you can also change the stereo processing mode from left right to mid side. The link amount is used to set how much the two channels influence each other. You also have another high cut filter that you can use to gently trim off more of the high end. Adjust this to get the sound you want. You can also use this to push your vocals deeper into the mix. There's something in the water I feel it taking over me There's something in the water Saturation is a unique addition to this plugin. This is a convenient way to add some saturation to your vocals, and if you press the filter button, it will only apply saturation to the selected frequency range. This can sometimes smooth the sibilance in your vocals a bit, and is useful for shaping the sounds of drums, cymbals, and other instruments. There's something in the water I feel it taking over me There's something in the water I feel it taking over me. Some sounds are sibilant. 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 Some sounds are sibilant.
Another nice addition is account management. Like many plugins, the license for paid products allow you to use their plugins on two computers at a time. For me, that's my main desktop computer and a travel laptop. However, you can actually manage this from within the plugin, so if you buy a replacement computer or you need to use it on a new computer, you can easily deactivate the old license and move it without jumping through hoops. In summary, the TDSer Pro has a simple, easy to use interface. It works well and it sounds great. I really like the control it gives you to fine tune the sound along with its extra features. There are free versions of this plugin if you just need the basics, and if you want more control, there's an option to do a trial of the full pro version to see if you like it. This plugin currently goes for $90 at full price, but if you keep an eye out, you can find some great sales and bundle discounts, and you can get a great deal. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.